Today is a very special day guys. I got invited to a local home here in Bali to cook and enjoy some Balinese food. Now I've already been to quite a few local restaurants here in Ubud. The food has been amazing but I think there's something to be said about actually going to a local's home and getting that experience especially if I'm gonna have the opportunity to help cook. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Uh, their home is actually all the way up on Kampuhan Bridge where if you guys saw my last video of Ubud is in this beautiful like winding path in the rice field so I've got about a 30 minute walk to get there but it's gonna be amazing. home, correct? Perfect. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Alina, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So guys, I unfortunately had some technical sound issues with this part of the video, but basically uh, this lovely couple, Odek and Tara, had invited me to their home for a traditional Balinese dinner. But before we got started with that, they gave me a tour of their beautiful home, which is also set in the more traditional uh, Balinese architecture style. And they just kind of talked with me about how important it is to them to keep up these traditions and to kind of share them with others so that they're not forgotten with all the globalization that is, of course, happening in many parts of the world. So what are the elements that... Um really encapsulate like a traditional Balinese kitchen, would you say? Mm. Um, open fire. Open fire? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, fire is symbol of drama, right? Mm -hmm. so, uh, so we believe that when you enter into the house and uh, all the spirit, that spirit will be burned by Brahma, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, it's right at the entrance. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, uh, place in the top to dry uh, for the wood mm -hmm. and then we use clay, all the clay pot, we use bamboo. So basically it's all designed by poles like this mm -hmm. and then by raw bricks. Raw bricks. Uh, raw bricks. So mm -hmm. this, is, this is made of mud, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just dried. Mm -hmm. And then it's just form and it's not being uh, cooked or burned to mm -hmm. make it into like red bricks like that. Mm -hmm. uh, usually there's a, there's a bench like this to prepare food. Mm -hmm. uh, this is for the da use daily. Yep. But this one is a rice house. So rice house. Where, yeah, so usually after, after harvest we put the house here. Uh, mm -hmm. We put the rice here. During ceremony when we cook with a lot of people then we we, we prepare here. Uh -huh. So all the chopping is done on the side and then after that it's good. Mm -hmm. So usually in a, in, a, in a big occasion, actually men the one who's cooking. Oh really? Yeah, woman making offerings. Oh, yeah. that's so interesting. Wow. Yeah, because cook, cooking is very 
savage, right? Uh huh. Well, do a lot of cutting and bone and sewing and killing, right? It's like how in the West, you know, it's always the men who barbecue, I guess, and yeah. stuff. It's like, you know, the man's uh, thing, like, the like, barbecue yeah, domain. Like similar. Like that. <laughs> so all the construction and big cooking is done by man. Done by man. And women doing the offerings. Offerings. Hmm. That's really cool. Uh, today, I think we will cook simple daily Balinese food. That'd be great. Yeah. So it's whatever that we usually eat daily. Mm -hmm. So there is, uh, you know, in Indonesia, we have many different ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. And Bali is only one of them. Mm -hmm. So when you see nasi goreng, that's not Balinese food. Mm -hmm. uh, that's sort of a mismatch of Indonesian food. We use something very simple like a... Like for example, that's we're gonna make urap. We call urap. Urap. Urap is okay. a, it's a spinach vegetable, just steam, mm -hmm. and then mung beans, mm -hmm. just steam, and then uh, we put grated coconut. Ooh. Uh, burn the coconut a little bit and then grated it, mm -hmm. and then we put mix it with sambal, which is sambal is a, it's a it's a spice thing. There's many different kind of sambal, but uh, but there is this. This thing is a salad sambal, mm -hmm. uh, sambal bawang. So this is a tamarind wood. Mm -hmm. This is what we usually use to cut things. Tamarind is, um, I've only seen it a couple times. It's a sort of fruit, right? The brown yeah. Uh, yeah. fruit. Uh, the, the, the one that's really sour, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Really... All right, let's uh, start with that. Maybe the pepper stuff, yeah? Mm -hmm. so, your coffee is right there. Oh, too. thank you so much. This is the traditional yeah, Balinese coffee you were saying, <laughs> right? <laughs> to the village. Amazing. Yeah, so like Give like this a try. Hmm? Oh, that's really oh, yeah. nice. That's a really rich cup of coffee. Delicious. Very good. Very good. Whoa. And that knife is intense. Uh -huh. <laughs> the knives almost look like they're handmade here. Am I right in guessing that? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this moment seemed like the perfect time to introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video, which is Kamikoto Knives. Before I came to Indonesia, I was sent this beautiful Japanese steel knife set from Kamikoto. You guys know I've spent a lot of time in Japan and have heard all about the super high quality of the knives that are made there. Kamikoto knives are made through a 19 step process to shape raw steel into a very fine edge. This is the traditional Japanese single bevel style knives that are used by Michelin star chefs all around the world. My first impression of using the knives is that they cut with ease and amazing precision. They have a wide variety of styles depending on what you want to prepare and come in a beautiful heavy duty ash wood box. Each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. These knives make the perfect present and make a great addition for every kitchen. Kamikoto has several special offers going on right now and is offering my viewers an extra $50 off any purchase with my discount code ALINA10 on top of their special offers. Just click the card above or the link in my description and thank you so much to Kamikoto for sponsoring today's video. That is an onion or a shallot? Shallot. Yeah. Shallot. Very nice. So we make the peppers. We're gonna make tuna peppers. Mm -hmm. uh, peppers is that uh, tuna that we put spices in it, and then we will steam it with inside the banana leaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just taking these bunches and kind of roughly chopping them. Yeah, kind of actually just dividing it in half. So mm -hmm. Do a simple yeah. sure. Get that, and then we just kind of want to get rid of the harsh stems. Yep. And then maybe just cut the leaves in half. Because when they steam, they'll get really small. Mm -hmm. So after you're done with that, we're going to steam it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make it mix it with, with sambal. And, and what coconut. is sambal? Sambal is a, a, a spicy thing. I really like this brush. Is it quite normal that in Balinese culture that uh, children are taught to cook?
cook at a fairly young age or does that happen um, more like when they're closer to adulthood? When I was a kid, yeah, I was, yeah, we help a lot in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, during, on daily basis to do something that is mundane, you know, I like grilling coconut and stuff or chopping things like this. But nowadays I don't think kids do. <laughs> 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 do they do they have like microwaves here and just like put some pizza in there or something? <laughs> well, I think nowadays parents are much more they're all working with. Right yeah, so yeah. So they, they do practical things. Uh, the worst example is that instant noodles. Oh yes, right? the instant so, noodles. Yeah, like uh, noodle cups. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there's a you know. So mixing thing in Bali is a big deal. Mm -hmm. So we mix vegetable, we mix everything first before we doing anything. So we put salt. Mm -hmm. okay. And this um, pepper. Mm -hmm. Grounded pepper. This is coconut oil, like a a virgin coconut, coconut oil. oil. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna wing it, right? Mm -hmm. It's dependent on, yeah. on your taste. So we just put uh, this is uh, chili and then this is garlic, right? Mm -hmm. Put salad in it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we put tomato just for the. It's, it's always it's about sweet, sour, mm -hmm. the, those combinations and the aroma. Mm -hmm. So this. When you put turmeric and ginger, right? This one Ooh. turmeric and ginger, mm -hmm. right? And then this one is uh, slice. What is it called? Um, lemongrass. 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 Wow. Yeah. So we put slice lemongrass in it. Hmm. And that banana leaf just kind of helps like hold yeah. in all that flavor, yeah. yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. Um. Wow. <laughs> That's really cool. Cooking rice and as well as steaming yeah. anything. And it never burns? Uh, no, it's a, it's a, it's water underneath that and uh -huh. so it's just steaming. Just steam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I usually start with this. Yeah. Uh, so the coconut. Mm -hmm. Mix it with veggies. Mm -hmm. So that might be enough. Me choice a bit. Me So we're not gonna use very spicy one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is pepper. Mm -hmm. You can put brown sugar if you want that, right? Mm -hmm. So this is when you can taste first mm -hmm. the mix, mm -hmm. and then if it need sugar, it need salt, chili, more chili or less. Mm -hmm. This is where it is. All right, give this a try. First taste. Oh, somebody's here. <laughs> mm. That's so flavorful. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. and then this. Oh, we're making a lot, yeah? <laughs> but for the girls also. Mm -hmm. well, now we're going to test you on all the names. Oh no, I was about to ask you guys. I'm just like, I'm going to need your help <laughs> to know exactly what each one is because uh, I definitely don't want to get anything wrong. <laughs> Odek, could you uh, actually take the viewers through each dish oh, okay. here, just so we know what we're so, looking at? 
This is the mixed veggies, the mung beans with spinach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is cucumber veggies. Mm -hmm. And this one is, I guess it's the tuna, steamed tuna. This in is the steamed chicken. Oh, that's one yeah. the chicken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steamed chicken in banana leaf. Yeah. And that one over there, the other one is a steamed tuna. Tuna. Uh, this one is a mixed tuna, right? Yes. That's the, the tuna with the sambal mata, which are roux salads and chilies mm -hmm. and coconut. And then the other one is the... Uh, Sar uh, what do you call that? Sardines. <laughs> sardines? Sardines, yeah, sardines, yeah the yeah. little fish. Oh, that one is the chicken, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Very so special. when you make coconut oil, uh -huh. there is a coconut that left over yeah. after you cook it and they turn it into um, uh, a dish called pepesan langis. Langis. Mm. Langis. langis. So it's like really rich uh, coconut fat essentially. Mm -hmm. This is mixed with some spices and uh, cinnamon leaf. Cinnamon leaf? It's wrapped in mm. bamboo and then it's 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 burned. Uh huh. So bar yeah. barbecue. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. This looks amazing. Thank you guys so much for having me. This is just wonderful. <laughs> I'm excited to dig in. It is the next day, friends, and sadly, I didn't want to put in my reactions to the food uh, just because it got so dark and the quality of the footage wasn't good. But believe me when I tell you, the food was amazing. Like, just look at the flavors that were in there. Like everything that uh, Odek and Tara prepared for me was just amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you will find a way to try Balinese food for yourself and of course if there isn't you know a Balinese restaurant in your city or if you can't make it to Bali right away we always do have the option to try some of these amazing cuisines by cooking at home. And this actually brings us to the end of my time in Ubud. Uh, I am leaving in the next hour to Nusa Penida. Nusa Penida is an island just off the coast of mainland Bali and I will be there for about four nights. It looks like a very special place. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. The rain is really starting to come down now <laughs> and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys. The songs.